Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another session at SAP TechEd 2021. My name is Benita George, and together with me presenting in the session is my colleague Ivan Joshev, who is the product owner for SAP Task Center. Hi, everybody. Let me start by giving you a brief overview about the product. SAP Task Center is an infrastructure kernel service which runs on Business Technology Platform, or in short, BTP. The goal of this product is to enable business users to manage all their workflow tasks in one centralized inbox. This is achieved by integrating tasks from multiple SAP applications, both cloud and on-premise. The product is planned to be available by 2111 or November 2021. I now hand over the presentation to my colleague Ivan, who would be demonstrating a customer story in connection with SAP Task Center. Over to you, Ivan. Thank you, Vinita. And now let me introduce you to Noam. He's a project manager and somebody that is mostly on the move and spent most of his time with a customer on site and jumping from one meeting to another. He doesn't get much spare time for administrative tasks, although he's aware that these tasks are important for the business to run seamlessly. The nature of his work does not allow him to spend a lot of time in front of his computer or phone. No, no one is based in London and he's on his way to the airport to board a flight to Frankfurt for another customer meeting that is uh, planned for the next day. He has some time to spare during the, his journey and this is when SAP Task Center comes into the picture. Now you have the intelligent enterprise on the fingertips of every SAP user and no one can find all the tasks that are pending his section in one place. All the tasks are inside SAP Mobile Start and no one can find them in his to-do section. Workflow tasks from multiple SAP solutions are gathered in one list by the task SAP Task Center service and ready to be processed just with one click. In one place, no one can find the task from S4 HANA Cloud Concord, Ariba, Fieldglass, and SuccessFactor, and they have seamless and integrated user experience on mobile and web. From the to-do screen, no one can not only view all the tasks that are assigned to him, but also quickly to process them with the help of quick actions available for each item. When he taps on the three gray dots in the right corner of a task tile, he will see a list of all available actions uh, for the selected task. Of course, if no one needs more information about this task, then he can tap on the tile and see the details information. Now, no one remembers that his colleague Kitty has a couple leave requests that are pending his actions and that she is also going soon on maternity leave. The time requested for the maternity leave looks suspiciously short, so no one will open the details screen to check the rest of the information. Uh, he checks the detail information he opens the OG trail and as he wants to make sure that the duration of the maternity leave is really 10 days and there, and there was no mistake when the task was created, he will send it back to his colleague Kitty. After no one processed this task, it will disappear from his uh, to-do screen and at the same time, the same leave request will be sent to success factor where Kitty originally created her request. Then she will be able to see the status and the comments provided by no one. That will allow her very easily to validate the information and send it back to no one. Now, no one utilized the time while he was in the cab and can continue with the rest of his tasks from the airport. Thank you, Ivan. So now let us look at when and how Nolan uses SAP Task Center web app via his computer. Now that Nolan has reached the airport and he has some time to spare before he boards the flight, he opens SAP Task Center on his computer and finishes approval of one more task from his team member, Louis McCann, which needed his immediate attention. Let's look at how he performs this action on his computer. So this is a Task Center tile available via Central Fury Launchpad. The logged on user is Nolan Waters, who is a product manager, and he has 18 tasks to be approved. He opens SAP Task Center Web UI, 
He has 18 tasks which need his attention. He can scroll down to look at all these tasks here. The tasks are fetched in real time since HANA database is used. It ensures high availability and good performance. Let's look at the various options Nolan has in the Task Center web UI. On the top, there are various filter tabs available like SAP Conquer, S4 HANA Cloud, Ariba, Field Glass, Success Factors, and others. These tabs represent different destinations and service providers from where the tasks are fetched. These tabs are configurable by the administrator. Precise filtering is also available. For example, tasks from Ariba can be viewed separately or tasks from Field Glass can be viewed separately too. On to the right is an option to refresh tasks. This would allow the business users to refresh their entire task list manually. Automatic refresh also happens on a regular basis. This refresh functionality fetches the task from SAP Task Center's cache and updates the list in this web UI. He can choose to personalize the look and feel of the columns too. For example, he has a possibility to choose the columns to be displayed in the UI priority, status, and so on can be enabled or disabled. The columns can be sorted in ascending or descending order, as you can see here. The filters can be further adopted, for example, based on priority, very high, high, medium, and low. Even task types can be adopted. These are different task types coming from backend systems available for each of the tasks. They are dynamically loaded. So now Nolan needs to approve a purchase requisition task coming from Ariba system. This request is initiated by one of his team members, Louis McCann. For quick filtering, he clicks on Ariba and selects Procurement Purchase Requisition as Task Type and clicks on Go. Now he sees additional custom attributes for the task type Procurement Purchase Requisition. He clicks on the task from Louis that needs approval. He reads through the details mentioned, which states that this is a request for procuring laptop batteries. But Nolan feels the needs to look at additional task details and line items pertaining to this request. So he opens the tasks and verifies all the task details once again, like the total amount, the line items, and so on. Nolan also checks if there are additional comments or attachments for this request. Okay, so all the information seems to be correct. Nolan also has the option to verify the task details directly from Ariba system by clicking on Open Tasks. But he doesn't choose to approve from here since Task Center provides all the required information already. Now Nolan approves the request. He clicks on Approve, adds a comment, and clicks on Submit. And the task disappears from the list. Now the total number of tasks that need to be approved have reduced from 18 to 17. So now Nolan gets ready to board the flight. To summarize the story, Nolan utilized his time well during his journey to the airport by using mobile app of SAP Task Center and at the airport by using web app version of SAP Task Center via his computer. This brought in a positive business impact since he could finish few approvals during his journey, which needed immediate attention. Sharing with you the status and the vision we have for our product SAP Task Center. Our vision is to have one centralized inbox for all SAP applications, supporting all SAP approval tasks across LOBs. Further integration with Launchpad and One Procurement is also planned. We also plan to support third-party approval tasks. The status or what we've achieved so far, we have shipped our product for the early adopter care customers. In this program, we support more than 30 approval workflows covering five LOBs like SAP Ariba, SAP Conquer, SAP Field Glass, SAP Success Factors, S4 HANA Cloud. We support in-place actions, task details, custom attributes, and so on. Sharing with you the timelines. In 2020, we released beta version of SAP Task Center with two task providers. Kernel service and web app was implemented and four task provider interfaces were implemented for Ariba, Conquer, Field Glass, and Success Factors. In 2105 this year, we released our product to the early adopter care customers. We plan to onboard up to 10 customers for this program. IPS connectors and skim APIs for five LOBs were also delivered in 2105. In 2108, use case coverage was further extended Comments and attachments are supported. The SAP Task Center Administration app is also available now. This app helps administrators to monitor the configured task provider destinations. 
In 2111, we plan to ha have our GA release. Use case coverage would be further extended. Mobile version of SAP Task Center will also be available to the customers as part of SAP Mobile Start. We have greater vision for 2022. We plan to have substitution management, third-party task provider support, LOB and use case coverage extension. We will be supporting integrations with S4HANA on-prem as task provider. We plan to support SAP workflow management as task provider, email and shell notifications, and finally, intelligent approvals like including anomaly detection and risk mitigation. We hope that you get to experience the advantages of SAP Task Center at your organization. Thank you for your attention. Thank you from my side and have a nice day. Bye.